am Caitlin and today I'm going to be showing you the IV scale of switching over from a gravity infusion and um, turning it on to the actual plum pump. And then we're going to be setting up a piggyback so the um, gentleman can get his medication. Alrighty, first off you're going to wash your hands. As always, first step to everything in nursing, washing your hands. And first I'm going to remove the tape here. And then also while I'm doing this, looking at the site, um, making sure it's not infiltrated, there's no phlebitis. Make sure he's not in any pain at all. I'm going to get this set up. So this is just my thumb set. Get the white parts. Make sure it's not tangled at all and it looks to be alright. So, first we're going to disconnect this and making sure this is sterile. I'm going to put this bag down. So you want to make sure that's sterile because since it's still connected to this bag, we don't want it to get any infections or anything. Alrighty, and then, oh, we don't need to worry about that as much. We're just going to spike the bag with our new setting and also make sure that it's clamped by pushing that white button. Bring that in. I'm just setting it up there. This time, I'm going to just continue it. Okay. Next, we're going to first start by um, making sure we look at it. It's like that. I'm going to clamp it and fill that bag so it's half. Fill this reservoir so it's half full. Now we're just going to prime the tubing by lifting out this white thing. I'm going to go slow enough. You don't want to get air in the tube. So what we're going to do is we're going to first fill up the state of Minnesota. It looks like Minnesota right there. And then we're going to fill up the Great Lakes. I'm just going to let it run through there. Make sure it runs through all the way to the end. It looks to be like there's no air bubble, so that's good, especially for a on pump setting, sometimes if there's even a little bit of air, it can sometimes cause a machine to malfunction and make loud beeping noises that your patient would not appreciate. And it's just about reaching the end here. So I'm going to clamp it now. Okay, I'm going to set that there for now. So I'm getting alcohol swab ready. Just going to swab as they can. Yeah. And we're swap this for about 15 seconds. Alrighty, that's all done. So I'm going to move this cover. I'm going to connect it. Alrighty. Make sure you clean your area as you go. So we're just going to set this in the machine. Down. I'm just going to turn on the machine. And again, just to state, you know, I had an IV running before, so I knew it was patent, so there was no need to really check it. If you didn't know the status of the IV site, it would be very, very important to flush it with normal saline just to make sure it's patent. Alrighty, so now we're going to just push A for the main line. And so I checked doctor's orders three times, and he um, wanted it to be at 150 milliliters per hour. So I'm just going to set this at 150. And also you're going to set the, the amount to be administered, and it's a 500 milliliter bag. So I'm going to put it at about 450. I'm going to start. And it's very nice. It tells you right on here. Um, you know, all the amount and how long it's going to take. So right now he has his IV running. His IV's running good. He's in no pain. And next we're going to set up to get him his medication. So I checked doctor's orders and 
I'm going to open this bag of this solution. I'm going to check to make sure the bag's not wet, um, no condensation, because that would mean that it's unsterile. And also we're going to check um, the expiration date, and it's not expired, and I've taken this right onto the MAR, and you're going to double check it, triple check everything, make sure it's correct. And I'm going to do right away before I even start is I'm going to label this bag, the date and time, and also while you're at it, it's important to label the tubing because it does expire. You only want to use it for so long, so I've labeled that with the date and time that I started the tubing. So I'm going to set up my IV piggyback set. I'm going to do this piggyback just so it can continue to run. So I'm going to take this clip, so you need this at a lower level. Just going to attach it. I'm turning it a lower level for it. And next we'll take this. Make sure it's all untangled. Or tangle it like I just did. Okay, and we're going to clamp the roller ball. Make sure the tubing is clamped. So, three quarters. And again, this is sterile to sterile. I'm just going to spike the bag in that inner seal. Put uh, it up here. And I'm just going to unclamp it. So fill this reservoir already. I'm just going to unclamp it, letting it run out. Ready and so on, so the line. Now we're going to get a uh, um, alcohol wipe. I'm just going to swab this thing right up here for 15 seconds. Alrighty. Now we're going to just this off. I'm just going to connect it right up there. Once it's connected, you can loosen up that roller ball. I'm going to set up line B right now. So that would be the piggyback line. And again, the doctor's order has stated that he wants it running at um, 200 milliliters per hour. So we're going to set the mode to piggyback because that's what the doctor's orders were. He wants it at 200 milliliters per hour. And then it's also 50 milliliter bags. So you want to make sure you. Um, calculate that all out. So I'm going to enter that in. And then, it's very nice on here, it tells you the duration is about 15 minutes. So there's, you know, no guesswork. And, you know, when you come back, make sure it's all infused properly. Then we're just going to push start. And so now, right now this line is running. And then once that's done, that'll continue to run as well. And so now he's all set up, and you want to make sure you double check every, triple check everything, chart everything you did, the medication that you're administering. Um, <coughs> also, you want to document the procedures that you did, how the patient tolerated it, how the IV site looks. That's very important. Um, if there's any phlebitis, any reddened areas, how it feels to him, any pain. And then just as a last step for comfort to him, you want to secure this up here. Secure it right there. So he's free to move and there's no pain involved. And then this last step, you know, the cleaning up of your site. So well, he's all set for his IV on the plum set and his medication. Thank you so much.